the probability the words chance probably likely possibly are used in day to day life for example it is likely to rain today it is 99% chance that i will get 100% in coming all cat or rt exams it is possible that he will win the elections etc the above examples convey some sense of uncertainty about occurrence of particular event the measure of uncertainty is calculated with the help of probability so another point is when we perform experiments in science laboratory under identical conditions we get almost the same result but there are some experiments even if it is performed under identical conditions the result may not be the same such type of experiments are called random experiments that is random experiments are the actions in which the results are known in advance but the exact result is unpredictable example tossing a coin you know that when you toss a coin head or tail will come but you don't know exactly which one is going to come next when you throwing a die you know that 1 to 6 will come but you don't know what is exact number is going to come next a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of cards so there are 52 cards will be there but you don't know which card is going to come exactly so what is meant by outcome the result of the random experiment is called outcome sample space the set of all possible outcomes of the random experiment is called the sample space now what is meant by event a subset of the sample space is called an event now let us consider the example two dice are thrown at a time so when two dice are thrown at a time each die shows a number either 1 to 6 so sample space contain the ordered pairs of the form 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 and so on so up to 6 comma 6 so that means there are 36 ordered pairs will be there that is n of s equal to 36 that is number of elements in the set s is 36 which is also called cardinality of the set uh, yes now let us consider e be the event of getting the sum as a perfect square so the ordered pairs which contain e is 1 comma 3 3 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 6 6 comma 3 4 comma 5 and 5 comma 4 which is a subset of the sample space yes and the number of elements in the event e is 7 so e is always subset of yes and number of elements will be greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to number of elements in the sample space yes next simple or elementary event an event which contains only one element of sample space is called simple event or elementary event example tossing two coins and getting both heads so the sample space contains the four elements h h h t t h and t t where h corresponds to head and t corresponds to tail so the event is h comma h that is only one element next compound event or composite event or mixed event an event which contains more than one element of sample space is called a compound event example tossing two coins and getting one head and another tail so from the sample space which contains the four element h h h t t h and t t so the event e is h t and t h so sample space is considered as universal set for all problems related to that experiment now phi is the null set null set is a subset of the sample space yes so null set is an impossible event and every set is a subset of yes that is sample space yes is a subset of yes itself that is yes is a sure event or certain event that is an event which does not have any element of sample space is called impossible event example throwing an ordinary die and getting a number greater than 6 is a impossible event an event which contains all possible elements of sample space is called sure event or certain event example a card drawn from a pack of cards and getting a red or black color card is a sure event so sure. what is meant by a complementary event the complementary event 
of an event e is denoted by e dash or e bar or e c and contains all those elements of the sample space which are not in the event e now if i consider the example throwing a die and getting an odd number so the sample space contains elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the event e is getting an odd number so 1 3 5 so the complementary event e is e complement which is 2 comma 4 comma 6 so e is a subset of s e complement is also a subset of s and their union will be the entire sample space and their intersection is a null set and number of elements in the set e and number of elements in the set e complement is equal to number of elements of the sample space yes sir so algebra of events let us consider two events a and b of the sample space yes that means in the set notation a and b are the subsets of the sample space yes now so what about the verbal description of the event number 1 a intersection b a intersection b bar a bar intersection b bar a union b so the meaning of a intersection b verbal description is both the events occur now and the venn diagram it just shows the common region for a and b that means all those elements in a as well as b in terms of the set notation next a intersection b bar means occurrence of the event a but not the occurrence of b next third a bar intersection b bar that is neither the event a nor the event b occur now the region for a intersection b bar is only a that is outside of b intersecting with a whereas a bar intersection b bar the region is outside of a as well as b next a union b means at least one event occur the region will be entire a as well as b so when the event is exactly one event occur so the set notation for this is a bar a intersection b bar union a bar intersection b that is here exactly one event a occur here exactly one event b occur now at most one event occur means at most one event means either one event or no event so here a occur here b occur here no event occur now so if you observe the region for this in the set notation which will be same as a intersection b whole bar 